Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to show you this new Azaria diaper bag. Now, what I wanted was a diaper bag that was wipeable on the outside, but also didn't absorb liquid on the inside. So I was trying to decide between the Fawn and the Azaria. I actually used Tiffany and Ashley's videos, Two Mamas from The Sensible Mama. I will link their videos down below if you haven't checked out their channels already. And they did awesome comparisons, and ultimately from those and other videos, I decided to try out the Azaria. Now, they are on pre-order right now. They should be coming out this week or next week. I'll link the website down below. So I actually got mine from a mama on their buy-sell trade page, and she was able to ship it in time for me for this vacation. So this will be my first time actually using it out and about, so I'll do an updated review of what I think about it as it wears in, because it is new, so I feel like that's why things are going to be a bit tight and not as comfortable, it just kind of needs to be broken in. But I really like how it packs up. I'm impressed with it so far. I can wear it as a backpack, I can grab it with a grab handle, and I can also wear it as a messenger strap. So there's lots of different options that make it super easy when traveling. I will have it packed up for me and my two-year-old, and then my son usually takes his own mini B. And then I will also be showing you guys how it looks when I carry my daughter in the ring sling because I tend to just carry her when we get on the plane and off the plane to make it a little bit easier so just to show you guys how that looks and yeah and then I'll do an updated review in a few weeks when I get a chance to use it more see what I like and don't like but for now I'm just going to be showing you guys how it looks inside and how it looks with the ring sling so let's take a look all right, so first I'm going to show you guys my son's bag. He has a Jujube Mini Bee in the olive juice print. He's had it forever, but it works really well traveling for us because these backpack straps are nice and padded, and he just likes taking his own bag. So here in the front pocket, I have a Contigo water bottle. It's the auto seal one. Both my kids know how to work it, but my son uses it responsibly. My daughter will push it and spill it everywhere, so she doesn't get one. But I do like this one because the straw ones tend to shoot up in the air, so this one just works better for traveling. Then here in the main pocket, there's no other outside pockets because this is a 1.0, not a 2.0. And... We have the replay snack containers that I will usually put blueberries, raspberries, some sort of finger fruit food in, and that will separate it for each of us. Then in this small travel on case, he has a go go squeeze, just a fruit and veggie one, a couple of these Annie cheddar crackers, and then a couple of these simple balanced, simply balanced granola bars. And he likes all of those. Then in this, I haven't decided I'll either stick an apple, an orange, or both, but makes it easy for him, and he's good about just getting all of his stuff out and putting it back. Then I have three of his favorite little characters. He probably won't use these on the plane, but I put him in his bag so he has them when we get there on vacation to play with. So we have a Spider-Man, a little dinosaur from Toy Story, and a Ninja Turtle. Then I have a pair of headphones for him. I have an apple juice for him, and usually they're pretty good about letting me take these if they're sealed and they're for my kids. They won't let me take a beverage that's been sealed. I just have the option of the empty water bottle and filling it, but they've always let me for my kids, so this is a little special treat for them that they like. Then I have a play pack for him, just of the Avengers, that he can open up. I found this set on Amazon. The Look and Find book from it is in my daughter's bag. But these all just go through and you look at the differences, but they're nice and slim, and my son enjoys looking and seeing what's different on each picture. So there's a few of those. Then he has his Step Into Reading Ninja Turtle. No stickers or anything, but he's really into Ninja Turtles lately, so it's just fun for him to look at or for me to read to him. Then, while we're waiting to get on the plane, I thought this would be a fun activity. They were pretty inexpensive on Amazon. Basically, you just take the stickers that are in the book, here you'll find them, and then you just find where they go on the pages. So I thought that would be fun to do with them. My husband's with us till we board the plane, so he can do it with one of them and I can do it with the other one. Then, in this back zipper pocket, it doesn't zip because it's not deep enough for it to fit, but I have his iPod. I just have it back there, so it's kind of hidden until we go on the plane when I actually want him to have it. But that is all for his bag. 
Alright guys, so this is the Azaria bag that I have packed for my two-year-old and I. It is a little bit bulging here in the front because of stuff I have in the zippered pocket, but it doesn't really bother me because I wouldn't normally pack this stuff, but it is available for our flight. So we'll start here with this side zippered pocket. And just here I have a coin purse, a GGB coin purse, that has a charging cord since we all use the same one, and my wireless headphones. Then I have my daughter's iPod inside of there, and then I have our portable charger, which I've never had to use, but just in case it is there and we can all use it. And that's for that pocket. Then here, in this back slip pocket here, there's a magnet to it, but I have a Y pouch 30 with some wipes, and then I have a Y pouch mini with some boogie wipes. And that's all for that pocket. Then on this side pocket here, I have my 21 ounce Hydro Flask, which fits really well. Then I have this Jujube Passy Pod that was converted to a trash bag holder because I use these for everything. We put our trash in it so then when they come to collect it, I can just give them the trash bag if there's any accidents or if anyone else ends up needing it. I've used so many bags on a plane and it's just really nice to have. And this I had made just because it's nice to have hanging on the outside and it's a little cuter than the arm and hammer looking one. Then on this side of the bag, in the other bottle pocket, I have this Munchkin 360 cup for my daughter. She just is a lot better with this one right now. And it does have a lid you can put on the top if you want to. Then I have a little Anna keychain because it's her favorite right now and it's just easy to have on the outside if I need to just give her something while we're waiting to go through line and stuff. Then lastly, here in this back pocket, you can take off the backpack straps and put them in here but I'll be wearing it as a backpack. So I just have my phone kind of set sideways and with the backpack full, it doesn't tend to slide down and it stays pretty securely. I have the iPhone 8 Plus. And that's there. And then I also have this vanilla envelope with their birth certificates just in case. But I don't usually need them. Now we'll take a look on the inside. So this flap will kind of come down on me. But if I pop it back here I can show you guys. I have the Lilla Baby ring sling right here on top. It's already adjusted to how I'll be wearing it. I have her favorite little buckle pig. I have some oranges for us, which usually I'll put in a reusable bag and I may still put it in the Logan Lenore one, but sometimes when we're traveling I do this just so we can toss it easier. Then I have this really cute little skip hop set that also came with this clear case I'll show you in a second, but this just has her snacks as well. She has a go-go squeeze also, and then she has some Annie Cheddar Bunnies and a couple of the granola bars and that all fits in this and it's nice because it's see-through and you can see it. But I have her headphones also right there in the main compartment and then very right there on the very bottom here I have a spare outfit for her. So just some leggings and a shirt because especially when you're traveling you just never know. And that's all for the main compartment. Now. I'm going to work from kind of the front to the back. So here in the front there's a large mesh pocket and this is where I have my more compact traveling needs. So I have two pull-ups because in my experience flight attendants just aren't that great when your kids are potty trained so I just always have my kids wear pull-ups when we're traveling. Then I have a couple toilet liners, quite a few of these wet ones, her flushable wipes, are also in here in a white pouch mini and then also a hand sanitizer. So it fits quite a bit in there but it's a really nice portable option in just the Logan and Lenora Petite pouch. Then there's two side mesh pockets and this one you see sticking out I have her apple juice with Tinkerbell and my mini first aid kit that just has like Neosporin in it you can see Neosporin, just some alcohol wipes, and a bunch of different sized band-aids. Just so I have stuff if I need it, but you don't really need a whole lot when you're traveling there on the plane. And they also don't want you taking a whole lot. Then this is my 
survival kit is what I want to call it. It has dum-dums, fruit snacks, starbursts. If lines look like they're long, if my kids are getting antsy, if we're taking a while to board, I will take these out and let them pick something. And there's one for my daughter as well. It's the same thing. Just a couple starbursts, dum-dums, and just their favorite little Simply Balanced fruit snacks. And yeah, so I have one for my son, one for my daughter. And that fits really well in this mesh pocket right over here in the corner. Alright, so lastly we have this slip pocket back here. It does have a magnet, but because of the size books that I have in here, it's obviously not going to work. But here we have the Boss Baby book, her latest obsession. We have this Look and Find book that I bought in a set. You saw part of the set in my son's backpack. But she loves looking for stuff in these books. And her board books are just a little bit thick, so I liked this option in that it was thin but she could still use that. Then I have this Step Into Reading book, just the princess version, lots of bright pictures, a few words I can read to her, but no stickers or anything in this one. Then, my daughter, I do not like the crowns that come in the play packs for her because she just breaks them. I also have a hard time putting it back in with her. My son does really well on his own independently, so this just works a lot better for her, and it fits it pretty well with Room to Spare. So I just have the coloring book, the stickers, and about six twistable crown options for her to choose from. So that's her little play pack case. Then lastly, same thing as my son, just a sticker book where she picks the stickers and then she figures out where they go in the story. And I thought that would be a good activity before we board the plane. So it does have a magnet and it works. It has this key fob, but I won't be taking my keys. I'm just going to be using, I didn't show you guys, but this Jujube B Charged will be here as we're checking in and stuff. And then I'll be moving it into the back pocket because I don't drive or anything while we're there, so I don't need to take my keys or my whole wallet. Now, in the rest of this back zipper pocket, I just have a snack bag. I couldn't find my other small set piece. I might be able to find it, but I have a couple hair ties, bobby pins, chapstick, this anti-nausea roll, some gum, and then a little portable thing of lotion just because it's winter back there. Then I have this energy blend of nuts for me, and I have a granola bar. And that is all for this bag. So it fits quite a bit. It can fit everything we could possibly need while we're traveling. And yeah, I'm really excited to use it. Now I'll show you guys how it looks when I'm carrying my daughter. So this is the Azaria bag. The easiest thing sometimes might just be to grab it by the grab handle to get off the plane quickly or whatever. But when you're standing in line to first check in, you can be there for a while. So one way to wear it is with the backpack strap. The one thing you want to check is that her leg will sometimes get caught by the backpack here, so I just want to make sure it's comfortable. Are you good? Yeah. And this is actually a pretty lightweight backpack to wear with it. The straps don't dig into my shoulders here. It lays nice and comfortably and isn't an issue at all. So. So that is backpack style, that's one way you can wear it that I find pretty comfortable and hands free so I can still hold my son's hand, my preschooler, without it being an issue because the bag's out of the way and she's on my hips so makes it really easy. Now the other way you can wear it is as a purse but I don't find that the most comfortable because when you're trying to put it over your shoulder. This will sometimes make it so your ring sling goes up over your shoulder. Then you're trying to hold it here so the weight's no longer spread out by your ring sling and because of the weight of the bag, it falls off your shoulder. So that's not really a way that I prefer to carry it. I prefer to either have it as a backpack or have it messenger style. So this is it messenger style. And when I have the ring sling spread out on this shoulder and the messenger strap going across on this shoulder, it's actually pretty comfortable and I don't feel the weight of either one too much. So messenger style, I don't mind at all. 
except it's kind of hard to hold my son's hand on this side so I'm kind of forced to hold it on this side but it does work well the weight's not too heavy and I can comfortably carry it on and off Alright guys, and that is all. I am not a huge fan flying by myself with two kids, but these items and just our routine on things have made it ten times easier. If there's anything that I didn't cover, because I know it's super stressful to travel, just comment below and let me know. I will also link, like I said, the packing videos I've done in the past for traveling so you can get some additional ideas from those. And that is all for this one. Next week, I'll be showing you guys the mini fawn packed three different ways. So if that's something you've been curious about, just go ahead and click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you can be notified as soon as I upload it. Thanks for watching.